kids and relate, can relate to this because I really think that Charles Schultz was pretty brilliant when he created these characters. It, they are kids, but the wisdom that they spout out is really far beyond their years. Now, Linus, I want you to take a good look at Charlie Brown's face. Would you please hold still a minute, Charlie Brown? I want Linus to study your face. Now, this is what you call a failure face. <laughs> Notice how it has failure written all over it. My name is Shelby Brimhall, and I'm a senior theater performance major, and I am the director and choreographer for Your Good Man, Charlie Brown. It's a production that's kind of set up where it's a lot of smaller scenes, or vignettes as we've been calling them, and it just kind of takes you through an average day in the life of Charlie Brown. But it's not one specific day, it's like what every day is like for him. So everyone can relate to a lot of the characters in the show, especially Charlie Brown, because he's... I've heard a lot of people call him a loser because he's always the one that they're dumping on. Um, he never really gets to kick the football. He never gets the kite to fly. People are just always kind of making fun of him. Look at my little baby brother Linus with his little blanket. There's your little baby brother with his silly blanket. as well. you know how babies are with their blankets. At this point in our lives, it's almost more relevant to college students than it is to little kids because we've experienced a lot more in our lives and, and we can relate to at least one of the characters, if not more, about um, Sally's struggles with school or Charlie Brown just having to try his hardest or being teased in school. Um, there's a lot of like unrequited love in this show and so I think we can take a lot from that and just learn from him and the fact that if you keep trying, eventually you're gonna get it right and that's kind of the message of the show that if you don't give up, you know, your friends are going to admire that in you, that you're like a really persistent, really dedicated person. I'm not very handsome or clever or lucid. I've always been stupid at spelling and numbers. I've never been much played football or baseball or stickball or marbles or checkers or ping pong. The show is running. It, it opens on Tuesday, April 1st, and it runs through Sunday, April 6th, and there are tickets at Ticketmaster. Um, if the nights are sold out, something that we're making sure to tell people is, it doesn't mean you can't get seats, so you should show up about an hour before the show starts to the studio theater, and there's a wait list you can put your name down on, and they'll call people as there are seats available.